Hello all, today we're going to be uh, setting up a custom action. And this custom action is for uh, creating a folder from selected tracks. Normally creating a folder isn't uh, hard to do in uh, Reaper, but um, we're going to put together a much quicker and easier way to do it. The normal way is adding a new track and having that above the tracks we want in a folder, make it a folder, and remember to have the last one set as the last track in the folder, as well as naming it. Takes a few uh, clicks, so let's see uh, how we can uh, make that easier. One thing to note here is uh, you must have the SWS extensions installed, preferably a fairly new version of it. So let's go into our uh, action list and go down to custom actions and new. And what we'll uh, start out with here is an action called save current track selection. There's that one. Just drag that over to the right. Next one is insert track above selected tracks and this is going to be our folder rename selected tracks and that is going to prompt you for a name for the folder the next one we're going to be needing then is to restore our previously saved selection Then select previous tracks. Select previous tracks, keeping current selection. Children of selected folder tracks. And lastly, make folder from selected tracks. <laughs> Quite a few steps there, but uh, this should be working. An important thing we can do here is consolidate undo points. This means that uh, if we want to undo our folder uh, creation here, we don't have to press undo uh, seven times. So one undo operation and uh, it's gone. We can also show it in the actions menu. So it will uh, appear at the bottom there. We can do that. We'll name our action create folder there, we have that uh, saved now, and we can see that it's in the bottom of our um, actions menu. But we're going to do another step here. One thing we can do here is uh, set up a keyboard shortcut. So we can do that. I'll use the Control shift f for that one. I typically don't use the um, batch file converter, so uh, I'm okay with overwriting uh, that one. We can also add a button to our uh, toolbar up top here. Just click the Add button and select our uh, action. Select and close. And it should be at the bottom here. Then press our icon button here. And for this I'm going to be using a text icon. Use create folder. Let's try double with the toolbar button there. And save and close that. And we see we now have a button for that. Handy if you forget uh, the shortcut, which uh, <laughs> is very easy to do. So let's try this out. Select all our uh, drum tracks and just hit that button. And there it is. And this is very handy for when you've, um, say, you received a bunch of files to mix and uh, need to set up uh, folders very quickly. And it automatically um, assigns the last track here uh, to be the last in the folder. So we insert new tracks now, they're not inside that uh, folder. 
You can easily set up uh, folders for an entire mix in a couple of minutes. Great little uh, time saver there. Hope you found that uh, helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like, comment, share. And I'll see you in the next video.